test what every cyclist loves slash hates to do. Anyway, I live in London, there aren't many hills, so I decided to go to Wales. It was very, very crazy slash a lot of people were like, why the fuck do you do that? But I wanted to test myself on a climb. Closest 20 minute climb all around that part was in Wales, so I was like, right, I'm going to go to Wales. It was a bit spendy, not going to lie. Was it worth it? Not really sure. But anyway, you do what you do. Um, <laughs> maybe next time we'll do it on the flap. I really want to do it on a climb. Anyway, so you can see here, we're going up this climb called Bwilk. We're right next to, uh, sorry, my Welsh pronunciation is very bad, called like Sioni. I'll, I'll leave the link below. Anyway, I'm getting far too excited, thinking I can hold like 350 watts or whatever for the first t for 20 minutes, which obviously I can't. Um, so anyway, this climb is, it's decent, it's not great for an FTP test. I, like, obviously I had never ridden this climb, I just tried to gain as much information on Strava as I could. It's, it's pretty consistent, it's not really 20 minutes at about, well, and I'd say you have to be going sub 5 watts per kilo for it to be 20 minutes, or, or have a good win, so I had, I had a good win at some parts, so I had a good win here, but um, later on I had quite a bad win, which obviously was good, because then it meant you, means you go slower, and obviously you can do your 20 minute power, so I only um, end up doing about 18 minutes or something, which is, okay, it's not it's not 20 minute power, but it's it's good enough, it's better than doing, is it better than doing 20 minutes on the flat for me, probably, because if I go on the flat, I'd be able to hold like 315, and I, I don't know. But anyway, on this climb, I got far too excited, held like 340 for the first 10, and then just died, and ended up holding 320 um, for the whole time, which is a bit meh. So my best ever 20 minute power is 334 um, in Adelaide, and but here, like, I'm going like 500 watts, like, come on, man, because um, there's a bit of downhills here, and I held power pretty well on the downhills, but again, I mean, it's not it's not ideal, but you got, you got to work with what you've got to work with. I, I could have just done this on a flat, and then, you know, that, that's life, but anyway... I'm going to be doing some climbing when I go to Thailand. I've got some races coming up, which will have, you know, some decent 5, five 10 minute climbs or so. So that'll be a good laugh to do. Many during the FTP test, I felt pretty good at this part. Like, I was I was concentrating, like, on the effort, not really, like, worrying about power that much, just glancing down and, like, breathing well. But about, like, well, probably seven minutes through, I really started to just concentrate too much on the power and not enough on, like, just breathing, calming down. I got far too excited. Um, not excited, but just, like, lost and just was like breathing not not well and just like really concentrating on the pain or well, what i should have been doing is like i'm doing now just out the saddle just thinking right i'm gonna smash this climb um i'm really just loving the effort so you can see you know i, I do quite like the out the saddle technique as you can see here um so yeah we're we, you know we're going out the saddle here quite a bit um i was just trying to keep the power a little bit lower here because i really wanted to for the first five my goal was between 325 and 330 just to see how it felt um, and then if you, and then this is basically halfway through, I was going around the hairpin, and I was really starting to feel a bit, not bad, but I was like, right, um, we're going to get a tailwind here, and it'll be really nice, um, and I'll suddenly get quite a big confidence boost, um, but again, I was, I was just concentrating not enough on the actual effort, and more on just, like, the pain and suffering, um, but yeah, so I was, I was really just like, I don't know how to describe it, just not, not on it really. I wasn't really on it, and I should have been on it. Um, but anyway, I think feel like every time you do an FTPS test, well, it sounds obvious, but it's actually really good practice just on learning how to pace yourself really well because it's quite rare that you really do a full gas twenty minute effort and you had to completely empty yourself. And the more you do, just the, the better you get them, obviously. Um, and I remember, like, I mean, I've probably done only maybe six or seven in, in my whole life, maybe eight. Like it's not very many if you think about it. Like that's in order to perfect it, it does it definitely does take a lot of time. Uh, and also the the race I do, I don't do frequently 20 minutes full gas or close to full gas because they're normally on the flat with lots of surges and accelerations. So it really is quite a different effort. Um, even like a 10 minute climb would be good or a 15 minute climb is more used to this. But because I just don't really do those mu often in training and recently in training I've been doing far more racing. So I was sort of expecting my FTB to be lower just because in the last like month let's say I've been concentrate on my racing i basically been racing endurance ride racing endurance ride and recovery rides that's it um so obviously my threshold is going to suffer um it wasn't that surprising um but it was it was more just the way that i i sort of messed up this part was still good but it's when i return the corner i'll show you in a bit um but anyway i managed to get like third or fourth up this climb out of like seven thousand which is like these i can't you can't really complain about that to be fair um and i did 338 for the first 10 320 overall uh, and I think it'll be interesting, I think when I go to Thailand, like, in, like I'm staying for like two, three months, so by the end of that I should be back to like, th well, hopefully, like, I mean, if I did three, three, four, I should be able to get to like three, four, five, maybe, maybe ten watt increase in two, three months, I don't know, 
I don't know, maybe the humidity I won't like, but I know there I'll be doing a lot of long climbs. So anyway, turn right onto this. There's a nice little sign on the left-hand side. I'm not sure if you can see it because I'm out of the south, but it's like, welcome to the valley. It's just that thing on the back. Pretty beautiful, to be honest. And it's, it is a real good climb. I did enjoy this. Um, it generally averages about 6% gradient. Um, this is where it starts to flatten off, but it's still really enjoyable. Um, and I just love climbing. It's just so much fun. Like, you know, you just feel, when you're flying up the climb, like, it just feels so nice. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know, when you, when you do it, like, it doesn't matter how fast you are, like, when I was when I was slower and I was going full gas, it still is the same feeling because you know you're just going really hard, fast up the climb. And obviously now I'm faster, but I'm still not, like, incredible um, by any stretch of imagination. Like, still, but when you're going, like, five, five and a half watts, when you go up the climb, you're like, wow, I'm not flying. <laughs> like, it just feels so nice. There I almost ran off the road because I was just, like, quite cooked and not really concentrating that much and just getting too bogged down. Just, like, my mind was just too full of information i just need to blank it out and just really concentrate on the effort and just how it feels and the, the best power i've ever done the best things i've ever done is always when i've had a very clear mind um, and i've really just been not, not concentrating on anything almost just concentrating on right i just chuck all the power i've got out and this is how i'm going to do it i didn't care about like gear changes you were just like right we just do them because this is the cadence feels more comfortable it's just things like that I wasn't thinking like, oh, what's my power now? What's my power there? Like my last 20 minute effort where I had my best ever power between about seven minutes and about 15 minutes, I didn't, didn't look down at my gun on my woohoo once. Um, I was just in the moment. I looked down, I saw the power. I was like, wow, that's insane. But on other efforts, I know I've been constantly staring at the power and I give myself a hard time because it's, it's like um, dropping. But it's like, you just have to really concentrate and just like pick up the cadence a little bit and just try and grind through. Um, you can see on the 7% grade, we're going like 18 k's an hour. So I mean, it's quite a fat headwind, but we're not really doing many watts either. We're doing like 240 here. And this is really where I just collapsed. Like the watts just died. I remember, I think this was like trying to flick in the big ring. Like my bike's just messed up at the moment. There's a lot of things I need to change. Like jockey was in messed up. Bottom brackets done. I need to change the headset thing. My front wheel is also like ruined. Like not ruined, 